The universal language is star constellation. Although the mathematician is our highest level of intelligence, what we believe, all it requires is basic counting, basic addition and subtraction. Knowing this alone opens all the geoglyphs in Peru, and the world's greatest mystery is no longer a mystery. For today, it is now a part of our human story. A sun symbol has 16 cardinal points of direction, and knowing this leads to an understanding that everything on this plane is a location or a destination. The first symbol we find is of a small bird, a bird that is created to represent flight. Each glyph has a code, and the code is the destination, and the language is universal, which to all of us is alien. This large strip of land has no meaning to our ancestors, but it does to us. It is clearly a runway, a runway for flight. All of these glyphs also indicate knowledge of flight is necessary in order to unlock this code. This is one of the most well-known creations in Peru. It is another bird, a simple bird, and yet there is a clue that always escapes our world. And the clue is here. It is a bird, and it looks to be a bird. But then, think like an alien. Look closer. Look at its feet. Notice that one bird foot has a human hand, and the other does not. Notice that one leg has more bird toes than the other. And that is the clue. This small bird has great significance, and unveiling it will unlock this entire plane. This bird has nine toes or nine talons, and it should only have six. And nine talons means that this is not a bird. This is a constellation. A human hand on this bird means that this bird is a bird created by man. It is the constellation of Aquila. It is a constellation from the ancient world and it survives in ours. And how we know this is because these two birds are the same and they are based on star points in the constellation. Nine bird toes correspond to nine constellation stars stars that are necessary to create this man-made bird in the sky. This geoglyph is another bird, and what makes this bird different is the fact that each foot has the exact same number of appendages, which means our clue is found somewhere else, and somewhere else is its wings. These elongated wings are created to draw your attention to the wings. And once it has your attention, one only needs to count each feather. And after counting, you will find that there are 11, which means that this is the constellation of Columbia. A bird of feathers that is also a bird in the cosmos. And yes, if you count the number of stars in the constellation of Columbia, you will find that there are 11, a match to its feathers. Yes, children of Earth, everything on this plane is created for the stars. If this all seems too unbelievable for the mind, with patience, one will see a confirmation of truth that is so overwhelming that it will usher in a new age of interspecies communication. This here is a simple monkey. And although our brightest minds say it is a monkey, they arrive at a conclusion that is ultimately human. And that is incorrect. It is a monkey, but it is a special monkey. Its tail gives it away. Its tail looks like a spiraling galaxy, and that is our clue. But remember, when looking at an image on Nazca, 
Do not look at the obvious. Look at what is not obvious. Look at its hands. One of his hands has five fingers on it, like a human. The other hand only has four. What monkey have you ever seen with one hand with five fingers and the other has four? Look at its toes. Each foot only has three toes. And that is the clue. A monkey that has five fingers on one hand, four fingers on the other, and two feet with three toes each equals 15 appendages. And 15 appendages correspond to the constellation of the monkey. The star constellations are our mode of communication. This entire plane is created for us to come to understand that in order for us to leave this planet, we must become universal. We must speak the universal language because there is something coming, something so horrible that even while I'm speaking, tears are falling from my eyes. The knowledge of the forever time. The knowledge of the eight. See the final episode now playing at Amazon Prime.